G'day and welcome back to Dark Soli Gaming and our episode 3 on Planet Coaster. Alright, so we are back at it again. Uh, we've just done a little bit of work off camera in preparation. Uh, as you can see when we left us at the last episode, uh, we were just tidying up this queue here. So we've done that. We've put a few marshmallows around. We've put some wafer biscuits around, all that sort of stuff. And uh, that roller coaster there is uh, quite busy at the moment. Our rides over here are quite busy as well, queued up there. Our merry-go-round has a reasonable queue on it. And our dodgems are fairly well queued up as well. Now it looks like our uh, food and drink area is doing okay. Uh, I'm not so sure about why we've got no vendors available. Um, we'll have to look at that a little bit later. Um, are there any of them in here? Um, current capacity number of staff there, there's a couple of them resting so they're probably just having a bit of a rest and I'll go back to work there which is good now in the interim uh, we've got a thief that's been caught which is wonderful we've started installing our monorail so we installed a path back around through here to our monorail station and as you can see I've started extending that down and around the park so we're actually down here at the bottom end of the park I have two other stations installed so there's three stations in total so far there'll probably be another two stations in the loop uh, before we finalize that off and we might do a little bit of work on that in a second But what we're going to do here. We're going to uh, start building this out a little bit uh, And just sort of see what we can do with the building tools. So we're going to come in here We're going to select station 2 and we're going to start building on the station grid Now what I thought we might do is we might do a, a gingerbread type uh, station uh, theming so we're going to get some gingerbread walls. So we just uh, rotate them like this and lower it down. Whoops. So we're just going to basically wrap the building uh, just so it looks a bit prettier. Now this is one of the wonderful things with this game in the, is the fact that everything is so customizable. Now as I've said previously, I am no genius when it comes to uh, designing and laying out the buildings and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there are some that are far, far better than me. Um, but we'll give it a go and we'll see what we can do. So we just patch all those in. So all I'm doing at the moment is putting basically the outside render on the framework just to cover up our frame and we can't do those ones because they've got to be monorail sections so two meter station piece there now uh, that's got to come up to there we're going to rotate that and then he sits in there two meter wall piece here he's going to go there and there so that slots into place we're going to do the same over this side, there and there. Go to the monorail end pieces again. Whoops. We'll just rotate this one, put that one in the right place. And we're going to uh, X. Move that into there. Right, there we go. So we've got it all nicely moved around what we're going to do now is i'm going to do the top end uh, i want to put an archway or something in there for an entrance um, in fact we'll put the station surrounds in first so these are the pieces that go above uh, actually no i'm going to leave that i've got another idea for that later um, so i need to make a doorway i need to make a doorway oh there's the arch right so we're going to line that up there. I want the entrance exit to be there. And I'm going to have the entrance up here. Like so. So the reason I've done that is now I can go done. I can go station two, place the entrance. And the entrance is going to go right there in the arch. And the exit's going to go there as well. All right, so that's all well and good. So now what we can do is I can go back into the editing and we can 
scroll back down and find our wall pieces. Uh, our gingerbread wall pieces are here. And we will just fill in the rest of the monorail station. Like so. There we go. Like that. One more piece up here. Put you there like that. Uh, now. Right. That'll be sufficient for that. So that's all that area done. So what we need to do as well now is we need to get our method to get down from the entrance of the exit down to the path. So what we're going to do is I am going to put in a path. Uh, I'm put in a queue. I'm going to select the grid. That's going to be my grid. And I'm going to go there. And then hopefully if I deselect the grid and I go with the four angle snap um, railing and elevated and we're going to bring that down here whoops okay so we're going to go back here and go to that grid. Select grid. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna deselect the grid there and we're gonna bring that in to here. Now, that is an elevated path, which I didn't really want, but that's okay, we can work with that. Now, I do need to just remove uh, this, like so. Join that up there like that. All right, so that's our entrance path. Now, we're gonna cover that up. It's not gonna be as that is there. So we just need to make sure that joins in. Uh, we need to have paths oh, I just I'm gonna have to put the curve in so I'm gonna have to do or maybe not maybe if I delete that and then if I go select grid Yeah, no, that's not gonna that's not gonna select that, so that's okay. So we're going to do just that. So that's in there. Right. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to go back to edit building. Go back to our gingerbread walls. And we are going to do this. We are going to just put this in here. We're going to raise that up. I've just put an extra wall in there, which I didn't want. I'll have to get rid of that. All right. Oh, look at that. Shocking, shocking, shocking. Delete. Right. Put the wall in again. There we go. Now, uh, we're going to go up again. Like so. That should suffice there. We're going to there like that. Oh, that whole oh that whole section of wall is out. Alright. That wasn't very good. Alright, I'll uh, do a cut here and I'll just tidy all that up and then we'll be right back. Okay, so that's all fixed. Now we're just going to finish off Filling in those gaps through there, which we've done. All right, 
Now, we are going to put an archway in here. Where did my archway go? I need my archway. Gingerbread archway, and we're gonna, whoops. Bring you in there like so. Now, let's have a look. That all looks fairly neat and tidy, that's okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll go back to our wall. And then we'll just tidy that up. So there we go, that's that area there done. Now, I did end up having to put that in there, so we're gonna remove that. I'm now gonna put a path in for the exit. So we are going to go to a uh, four meter path, like so. We're gonna go one meter in length. Select the grid. And we're gonna go up. Whoops. Like so. And come out there like that. And then this one here will go down. So what we're going to do, deselect the grid now. Uh, angle snap. I really wish there was a way of curve slopes. No. Um, I wish there was a way of actually stopping that from doing that uh, horrible turn as it does. That'll do. Whoops. One extra I didn't want. And we're going to come down like so. Remembering this is just the exit queue. And we're just going to put that in there. So there we go. There it doesn't look very uh, neat and tidy at the moment, does it? That's okay. We are going to work on that for sure. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pretty up the area a little bit. So we're going to go to some scenery. Uh, I'm going to get some trees and shrubbery. Now I think over here we'll have some alpine first because some alpine firs not over here. So I think that sort of fits the bill. Put some alpine furs in over here. Bit of a f well, well, that was a bit of a failure. Right, put that one there. All right. A uh, couple of alpine furs just in over here. Like that. Uh, one fit in. Not quite. A couple in there. One there. All right. Now we need to do some other decorating. So we're going to go props. Um, we are going to go statues and centerpieces. Uh, prop type. Food items. All right. There we go. So we've got uh, food items. May not be what I actually want in the end, but we'll have a look. Uh, fences. No, it is. That's the lolly area. So we're going to put our jelly bean factory in here. Oh, wow. Sorry, our gingerbread house. So we're just going to put a couple of these up here. Put three on either side of the queue. Like so, another one there, another one out there, and another one about there. Okay, so we've got a couple of them through there, which is all nice and handy. We will probably get some basic burger veg. No, let's get a couple of truffle balls. So I have a couple of truffle balls here. We're going to bring them down a little bit. There's a truffle ball there. And we're going to put another truffle ball there, there, on there. Okay, so we've got those there. We're going to put, um, what else can we put down here? Strawberry cream. Hmm. Let's uh, start decorating the uh, the building with strawberry creams instead. So what we're going to do is, uh, once I get my zoom out the right area, we're going to adorn these down this edge. 
So I'm holding the control key down. It snaps it in so they're aligned. Place that one. Well, you get the idea. I'm not going to do them all now, um, but certainly that's the plan of what we're going to do. So we're just going to put them up there like so, and they'll continue along. So that that's the first part of the decoration we're going to do, and like I said, we'll finish that off uh, outside. Uh, we're going to put a boundary here of marshmallows like so um, that would be sufficient for there we'll then just rotate him round and then that'll be a little bit of a border around through here and again we'll tie this up a little bit more a little bit more detail on that a little bit later that's what we're going to continue on through there um oh we got a chocolate cup we can put a chocolate cup down here like so uh let's do a marshmallow stack on the other side so we'll put some marshmallows here like so whoops you want to do that? All right. You delete. Okay, we got some pink ones there. Um, and that will suffice for that. So a bit lolly-like. There we go. Oh, and as you can see, I've got them way off the actual building. So they all have to be fixed as well. So I'll fix those off camera. All right. But you get the idea. That's what we're going to do. Is we're going to finish that off a little bit later. Um, and we'll come back to that when it's a little bit closer. In the meantime, I think we need another ride put in place. So we're going to go to, not coasters, we're going to go to rides. And I want just a fairly small ride to sit in this section here. I think we should have something for the keys. Um... So I think the whirly rig might be about perfect for that. In fact, what we can do is we can put the whirly wig in here. Um, and just get that to sit in there like that. So we'll put the whirly rig there. We'll come back to him. And I think another ride we'll put in over in here will be... Uh, let me have a look. Let's put the scissor in. He's... Uh, relatively big he'll just fit nicely in that curved path there like so and I think we'll have the entrance on this side and we'll have the exit on the other side uh, that'll append to that path nicely so we'll connect our entrance path uh, we want angle snap off Yeah, come up and then we'll come back around doesn't need to be too long a queue for this one and there we go all right so we'll get him up and running so we'll do a test run on him now to make it so the ride actually is uh, frequented better and all that sort of stuff and people enjoy it we need to put some uh, some decorations and stuff around so that's what we're going to do we're going to get rid of the food items filter there um, and we are going to put some stuff around this ride now I don't know what we're going to do um, got a fir tree uh, let's put some iron wood down here okay, we'll put that all through here That'll 
there's a bit of a boundary through there. All right, so we've got some ironwood there. We'll probably put some. We'll put some jungle plants in here. Uh, oops. I want to turn off that, actually. Um, Align to surface, we'll turn off. Alright, bit of jungle there. Jungle through there. Smaller ones in here. So, pretty jungly there, I think, now. All right, let's see if this is ready. Yeah, we've got that done. So we're going to open that park up. Well, that's park. We're going to open up that ride. So it's going to be ready to go. And uh, hopefully that'll get some guests over here very quickly. And we're also going to set up the whirly rig over here. So we're going to place the entrance. Um, I think Kitty's going to go on this one, so we'll put that one there. We'll place the exit next to it as well and we'll connect the entrance path now i'm going to have a narrow queue for this one just bring it round and there we go like that all right, so we got that one done. We're then quickly going to put our exit path in, uh, maintain the same look and feel as we've got so far. There we go, he's in. We're going to send him off for a test. All right, so he's up and running. Uh, there's some guests coming around here now. It's getting a bit dark over here though, so I think some lights are going to be needed. So we're going to go scenery, props, lights. Now, what lights did we put in over here before? Uh, I think we used, yeah, we used those modern lamps, didn't we? Um, I think what we might do over here is, do, 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 let's have a look. Um, street lamp. No, we'll just we'll just stick with the same theming for the lamps. So uh, put some lamps in here. Need to keep the paths well lit. Now, I normally have fences along all these paths, but I just thought I would do this a little bit different with this build. Um, and we'll just sort of see how it looks. There we go. We've got some lighting in there. Some lighting in here. Put a light over here near the exit. Right there, that should be fine. There should be enough lighting through there now for the, all those folk. All right. So there's a scissor going off. First couple of guests are coming up in the queue, which is nice. Haven't got any kitties going up in here. Oh, no, we're still testing that one. So that one's ready to go. So we'll open that one. He's ready to go now. Um, now, noting it's kitties. Uh, what have we got here? Statues and centerpieces. Um... Actually, let's put some animatronics. Where's some animatronics? Uh, animatronics. All right. So what we could do is we could put in. Um, what can we put in here? Does that have to be terrifying for the kitties? We're not doing a spooky area here. Uh, let's put the tin monkey in. So actually, yeah, tin monkey. Normally sit him on a stand, but he's okay. We'll sit him there. Um, what else we've got? We've got troopers. Uh, that's all stuff for the other DLC, which we don't have. So there's none of that's useful to us at the moment. Steam engine generator, monsters cannon. 
nothing else really that's going to fit sort of this area at the moment. Um, fairy tile band's not going to be helpful. Confetti cannon. No, don't want to scare the kitties. Um, no, party. No, there's really nothing here we're going to be using. All right. That's okay. Well, there we go. Got a couple of adults heading into that one instead of kitties. But anyway, that's all good. There we go. First couple of people on the ride for the scissor. And it's all up and running again. So, uh, we haven't got a lot done really, have we? Takes a fair bit of time just to set up buildings and stuff like that. And certainly uh, with my building skills, as you can see, we've got to realign all those, all those lollies that are on the side of the building. But we'll tidy all that up off camera. And, uh, and that's where we'll leave it for this episode. Uh, the next episode, I will basically get some more of this uh, monorail system done. Uh, what I will do off camera is I'll probably finish laying the track pretty much. Um, and then we'll, we'll get a test run of that running and uh, see how that's going to work. And then we'll, uh, we'll see what we continue on. So I hope you're enjoying this Let's Play series. It will take a lot of time. This is not something that happens very quickly. Uh, I may have to incorporate a couple of time lapses as well, just to help sort of go through some of the stuff. Um, but anyway, we'll just sort of see how it goes. So this is Planet Coaster, and I'm Duck Sawley. And no matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, or night, no matter where you are in the world, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. We'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Sawley Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends. And don't forget to press that notification alarm bell. All right, we'll see you all later. Bye.